Hello and welcome to another video on Adobe Express Cloud. This is Vishwajit Chakravarti from Adobe Consulting Enterprise Architecture team. Enterprise architects from the Adobe Consultings are the technical leader on our customer engagements. And we work across the Adobe stacks and most of our large customers. In this video, we are going to walk you through about Adobe Express Platform Time to Leave feature. I am sure you have already seen our other videos regarding Adobe Express Platform. If not, please have a look into those. Adobe Express Platform is a customer data platform. So once we ingest data inside AEP or Adobe Express Platform, we need to clean those uh, in the profile store periodically. So this time to leave feature that we are going to walk you through in this video will help to clean up the profile store by configuring expiration for experience events and pseudonymous profiles. So let's find out why this feature is necessary and why to clean the profile store. If we understand AEP or Adobe Experience Platform is a primarily marketing tool instead of just a database system. So once we ingest the data inside AEP, our primary focus should be to use those data, create an unified profile and activate this. If we have an event and anonymous profile in the profile store and we are not using them for a personalization, we can clear those from the profile stores to improve efficiency of the tool. If you see in this architecture, which is an AEP architecture, under the real-time customer profile, and you can see the arrow mark, there's both profile services sections. So once we implement time to leave feature, it impacts only that sections inside AEP. The data inside the data lake, which is at the bottom of this red box of Adobe Experience Platform, are not impacted. So all the data will be there in the data lake for reporting, whereas it will be removed from the profile store for further personalization activities. So let's talk about how to implement this feature. There are two TTL implementations. One is pseudonymous and another is experience event. The pseudonymous TTL will be applicable to an I profile identity namespace, which is unknown. In this case, one of the example is ECID, which is Adobe's visitor ID services for Adobe Analytics. So this will only be applicable once no activity or event has taken place in a user-defined timeline could be a 30 days. And another important part is pseudonymous profile is based on a sandbox level. So it will be applied on a sandbox level. So enter sandbox will be applicable on this pseudonymous profile. Examples, suppose we set up pseudonymous data expiration for 30 days. So our system will check if all the events of the pseudonymous profiles is older than 30 days. Then it will delete the, all the events as well as the profile. This is all or nothing. It means all the events must be older than 30 days. If any of the event are not older than 30 days, none of the event or profile will be deleted. On the other hand, experience event data expiration removes only events based on event records timestamp. So this expiration method only removes events and does not remove profile data class. Experience event only works on a data set level versus the pseudonymous profile which is works on the enter sandbox level. So let's give, give an example. So if we apply an expiration for 30 days on the May 15th, following things is going to happen. All new events get an expiration value of 30 days applied as they are ingested. 
all existing events that have a timestamp older than 15th April, which is 30 days prior to 15th May, are immediately deleted with the system's job. All existing events that have a timestamp that is newer than 15th of April have an expiration value 30 days after their event timestamp. So in conclusion, time to leave event or profile expiration is important to keep your AEP profile stored clean. We should implement both the experience event and pseudonymous TTL based on your needs. Also, please reach out to your account team, especially the enterprise architect to implement this feature. I hope you like this video. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. Also, please reach out to our history, scs adobecom for any questions or comment or suggestion. Thank you.